A significant trend line was broken by ADA pricing tonight. Cardona Vasile's hard fork is rapidly approaching. Have you prepared? Greetings and welcome to Cardano Coin, everyone. Let's start watching the video. A new node version 1.35.3 has been published for usage on the Vasile dev network in the new pre-production environment. Basically speaking about IO, HK, the entire dev and SPO community continue to work hard preparing for Vasile upgrade. It's a major thing, you guys, it truly is, that this new pre-production environment has been built up to give a clean, more agile environment for testing against 1.35.34 exchanges in SPO. It is the mechanism that powers the device. The inner workings are in motion. The VESA update is our most ambitious work program to date, which is what I wanted to read as quickly as possible. And as you can see from our tracking on this YouTube channel, the multi-asset ledger will be operational in March 2021, as well as these green boxes, which represent extremely significant occurrences and difficult combinatorial challenges. Even the staking system is a significant development for Cardano. And right here, IOHK effectively declares that this is the most ambitious project that we have embarked on. None of this would have been possible without the cooperation of the community. It has been a true team effort. This is what I actually wanted to discuss, which is three things. When we start the major net upgrade will depend on three critical mass indications. This is quite significant. The 170th, the final vassal node candidate upgraded and three significant main net depths, indicating they have upgraded to 1.35.3 on pre-production and on main net, are creating 5% of main net blocks for about 25 exchanges. And everyone, we're almost there. Check out the most recent mid-month dev update if you want to learn more about the VESA upgrade. And if you want to check that out, I'll include a link in the description. But for Cardano, this is a pretty huge issue. In this scaling narrative, it truly is a huge issue. It's a major event in the whole Cardano tale, I mean, obviously. However, we discuss Cardano's solution to the trilemma. Decentralization, security, and scalability, correct? Here we are, then. Furthermore, this Vasile improvement is a very, very important element of the jigsaw, especially in terms of scalability. This is exactly it. And it's a really sizable one. It's exhilarating as a result. If you have an ADA, and the majority of us do, it's thrilling. Therefore, we'll keep tabs on it while also seeing how it affects the charts. Because we have been linking this into the charts. This information is available because we have monitored past hard fork occurrences and the circumstances leading up to them. And it's crucial to realize that all three of those occasions, from Shelley through Mirko, Alonso, they were attended by Cardano, ADA pomp and circumstance, and more. First of all, there is no certainty it will happen heading into this one, and there isn't a specific date either. But like with the timelines on this box, this is hypothetical. However, moving into the hard fork, wherever it may be, we may be prepared for a nice little price pump, albeit there are no assurances. However, the second thing I was curious in was if ADA performed any sort of consolidation immediately to the downside or laterally after each of these severe forks. And that is absolutely crucial. Therefore, keep it in mind because it will be a data point that we watch after the hard fork. We already track this data to determine if the price would increase before the hard fork, but we'll also track it after the hard fork to see how consistent it is with past hard fork occurrences. In case you haven't watched any of my earlier films, we've been watching the MACD crossing that occurred on the signal line in July. This upward momentum shift has been active for this weekly macro chart. What we've been hoping for is just a small, gentle U-turn that has been sort of pleasant. Additionally, it has been occurring on this weekly chart as of the publication of this video. I'm not sure how the weekly will end, but if Cardano trades over this 200 week moving average, it will. ADA for me, this is a significant query. Trade the weekly candle closing over the 200 week moving average on the weekly can ADA. And then, obviously, we have the biggie, the very, very big one the 20-week moving average, which is currently sitting here on 63 cents. 
This is significant when we start pivoting into the zoomed in charts because we have a target above this area. A weekly candle above this area could have profound effects on the macro long term charts for Cardano. So let's make a turn here. This is the U-turn that we were just discussing, so here it is. And as you can see, this is sort of this new upper trend line that we recently began monitoring, this curved upper trend line in blue, lower lows, lower highs transitioning into the U-turn into the momentum shift, and all the while that's playing out very cool that we had that MACD crossing on the weekly chart, right? This is a daily, remember the MACD crossing somewhere around here in July, right? And we get the pivot, we'll get the bounce. After that, we were confined to either the upper or lower trend line. Moreover, this broad trend line. And that is the narrative we have been following. I won't kind of repeat it because if you have been following my ATTA, you are already familiar with that trend line. That white trend line dates all the way back to 2018. And between the two, Cardano has been confined. Here's the major problem, though. Here's the break. It's coming out of this ascending triangle, which we had been monitoring since, I believe, the previous video I made when Ada was testing the lower trend line at the triangle's apex. And this is how it seems. Ada has now rebounded off the bottom trend line, as you can see. Look at the bounce. It kind of challenged the pinnacle again after coming back up, and then, whoosh, an upward breakout. So, everyone, here's where we are right now. We have been monitoring this momentum change and, in the shorter term, this rising triangle. We've reached the pinnacle and received the bounce off of it now. Furthermore, you are not even permitted to claim that technical analysis is ineffective due to the accuracy and flow of that chart. We begin to anticipate breakouts at the peak since we see this so frequently and how wonderful and consistent it looks. And see what occurred, a breakout may occur in either an uptrend or a downtrend. But often, there are only two options, right? It basically functions in this way. And as we sit here right now, we're expecting these things. And now we are in this position after the break of the top trend line to the upward. The objective is currently in this area of 7,072 cents up here. It is significant for many, numerous, numerous factors. First, you can notice a yellow trend line. If we return to the daily since that is a 6 hour period, the yellow trend lines represent the bear market trend line and tell the tale of the bear market. It is the discomfort of just you and me watching videos on YouTube and following Cardano's lower highs. The lowest high stories foundation is that yellow line. On the shorter term charts, the yellow trend line's target region is only the lower high, lower high, and lower high. Additionally, keep in mind that we were simply looking at the weekly chart and that the yellow trend line's 20-week moving average serves as a sort of moving average illustration. It is little lower than that. But in reality, the 20-week ADA moving average, which is now hovering around 6,364 cents, is the lower high resistance level. ADA will thus be above the 6364 cent area when we begin to zoom in on this chart if ADA meets the objective to the upside. This is a 6 hour chart and this is where the 20 week moving averages that form the lower high bear market resistance are located. If ADA on the 6 hour can make a break to the upside, that is where it is on the weekly. ADA will be trading above and we'll be in a technical analysis setting where we're debating if ADA can demonstrate support above the 20-week moving average on weekly charts. Returning to the weekly, this is how it would appear if it weren't indicating that it will break this week before the candle closes. But what we're looking for is a weekly candle that trades above this green line. It may happen this week or the following week. It could not occur. It may be around September or October, and there might be opposition as we descend. But it is what we are anticipating. When we reach that point, a green weekly candle trading above the 20-week moving average will appear. However, there is a target to the upside that is currently breaching above it in the near future. And after that, it will certainly not be a straight shot at those objectives. And this is what I wanted to talk about. We frequently see throwbacks, breakouts to the upside, consolidation to the downside, and some sort of throwback to test support. At the moment, we have been keeping an eye on the blue curve trend line. 
With that rising triangle's top trend line, it's sort of functioning as a conflict triangle. Therefore, we really only want to expect a retro and observe whether there will be support for ADA in this 5,350 to 54 percent area. Furthermore, I haven't even brought up this. And this is a sizable portion of the diagram. The moving averages are the 20 and 50 day moving averages. Now, that's the location. Leave this blue trend line alone. We must just keep an eye on that region constantly. We've been looking for support, and the 20-day moving average has crossed above the 50. It was fantastic to see the 20-day moving average rebound back. No need for us to travel to test the 50. But for now, even if we surpass extension and reach a target of 70 or 72 cents, even if 8 is simply soaring upward, because that is the bullish environment we want to be in once more, to really emphasize that point, we must continue to follow higher highs and higher lows support above these moving averages as they rise. These bull market moves reflect that. Simply ongoing assistance. Greater than these moving averages, you can see the parabolic environment that we'd want to see cryptos trade in, with higher highs and lower lows, and gosh, it's been a long time. ADA has been present in such setting. Last August. It hasn't been in that atmosphere for a year. Since that record-breaking high in September, we have essentially been in a bear market. It has been a protracted story to get to that stage, so we are still waiting for it. However, the plot will continue and advance slowly as we wait for it to occur. But it's simply another piece of information on these charts that we must constantly monitor. Now that the 9th is above the 20-day and 50-day moving averages, we must just wait and see if support persists. So that's what I'll be keeping an eye on, although I wouldn't say it's a major problem because Vasile Hard Fork is currently breaking to the upside out of this pattern and breaking the trend line on these charts. Good preparation, the event is almost here. Additionally, it is a thrilling period. The future is promising for ADA holders. The network for Cardano is in an interesting phase. I'm eager to follow the protocol's progress with you guys, so please subscribe and press the like button. The protocol is simply continuing to deliver and really just proving itself as a really trustworthy and proven blockchain. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. In the next video, I'll see you. God's grace.